Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, you probably have a Benchmade bug out. You saw these awesome new products from Glow Rhino. This one is the Tritium Lanyard Hole Plug. Let's get this opened up. This one, I'll show you the, the uh, number here, but you can pick it up, glowrhino.com. There'll be a link in the description. Now, you have your bug out. You're not a Lanyard fan, so you're like, how do we make this knife just that much better? And you were like, well, let's get that glowing lanyard plug. I have one on one of my other bug outs. Glow Rhino sent me this in a little kit of things. Check out the other Glow Rhino videos that are out here. But this is just a quick how to install. This is a dual sided tritium lanyard plug. It is awesome. It's for the Benchmade bug out. They make them for a few other um, knives as well. Spyderco, etc. Now, there's a quick little trick that they've said can make it really easy. So we're gonna give it a try. I took my knife all apart. Now, safety first, if you don't feel comfortable working with the blade open, please put some painter's tape on there. Something that's not gonna leave a bunch of residue on your blade. And they said you can just take off these two screws or even maybe just the end one. So we're gonna try the end one and we can pop it in there, snap it in. It has a really tight fit. So we'll take this one off. We're using our Journey Tool Co. Tourist Driver and that beautiful blue, you can see the ginormous screws here. Now, can we get it in with just one? Nope, I think we're gonna have to take this one too. So we'll take this one side off over here as well, and we'll get that plug in there. Do a quick install, that way you don't have to tear down your whole knife, and you can slide it in there. Look at that. So it pops it open, your barrel spaces are still in there, and it fits directly inside, right there. And these glow super super bright so we're gonna try their little trick here you can see how they line up let's you know they've got it all cut out so it fits nicely let's see if we can just get it popped in there with the snug fit that's why it's like well I want to make sure we do it right obviously we want to make sure to get it in the hole properly uh, let's use this it's butted up, there we go. It was butted up against the other barrel spacer just a little bit. So we wanna make sure to line it up on this end as well. And you heard that little snap, pushes right together, even gives you a little more stabilization there. Look at how awesome that is. So we'll put our two screws in here really quick. Now this night, or this knife is ready to hit the nightlife. You know, um, it's gonna be something cool. You know, something that, you know, if you take your friends into a dark room, you can say, hey, let me light the way. Now it doesn't give off enough as a flashlight, but even just sitting out on the table in a, you know, a semi dark room, you'll see exactly where your knife is. That's a quick, super install. Just a little, you know, take just two screws out on one side. You can see that beautiful aluminum construction and these glow super, super bright. So I'll go ahead and put a picture in at the end here so you can see what it looks like when it's all installed on my other one, and you'll see how bright these glow. But with that larger tritium tube on each side, it just it just glows terrifically. So huge shout out to Glow Rhino for sending these out. Uh, we have many more builds coming from them, but if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. Most importantly, make sure to do something kind for someone, hashtag DSKFS. And most importantly, have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.